Hello all and welcome back to a video on the Heralds in the Assassin's Creed series where we go through some of the news items that Ubisoft wrote into these games. Today we return to Assassin's Creed Revelations just after we killed Manuel Palilogos. Without any further ado, take it away Harold. The offer of reward for information regarding the location of the criminal merchant Manuel Paleologos is hereby rescinded. He was found dead in Nefshehir province and can cause no more trouble. To be clear, we deserve the reward from the government because not only did we track down this man, but we also killed him. And this announcement is just a reference to that moment of progression in this game. I've touched on it before. But while Manuel Paleologos was a possible heir to the defunct as of 1453 Byzantine Empire, it doesn't seem as though he was historically against the Ottoman regime. And so this announcement wouldn't have made sense in actual history. Scandal breaks within the palace. Prince Ahmed, once trusted advisor to his glorious father and next in line for the throne, has been accused of high treason. It seems he consorted with enemies of the empire in a bid to secure the succession. Now, this is another announcement that confirms Ezio's progression through Assassin's Creed Revelations, as, just as we kill Manuel, we discover that Prince Ahmed has been a major player for the Templars this entire time. What differentiates it from the previous announcement is that Prince Ahmed genuinely was pitted against his brother, Salem, for the Ottoman throne at this time, and, for some, they could perceive him as a traitor. Regardless of feelings toward either brother, Salem eventually captures Ahmed and has him executed. Venerable Bayezid, at the twilight of his illustrious reign, will shortly be announcing his decision to retire to spend his autumn days in prayer and contemplation. May we all wish him health and grace in these quieter pursuits. While this paints a nice portrait of the succession crisis at this time, the events were much more dramatic. Bayezid named Ahmed his successor, Salem rebelled in response, and Bayezid's forces clashed with Salem's on a few occasions, finally resulting in Salem forcing Bayezid to give up the throne and banishing him to a far-off district of the Empire. It is believable, though, that Salem would want the heralds of the day to speak conciliatory words to try and calm everyone down after such a dramatic moment. Prince Selim the Mighty wishes all citizens of the serene city to rest assured that their best interests are being looked after by the House of Osman. He also wishes you all a pleasant day. The Mighty, what a title. With the city firmly in his grasp, Salem also has heralds speaking as they were when Bayezid ruled. Everything's fine, just relax, breathe, and also, while you're at it, have a wonderful day. Salem truly cares about you. Some decent propaganda here. We are receiving reports of a revolt of some kind in Anatolia. The Safavids would appear to be behind it, along with Byzantine elements. The good news is, it has been smothered in the womb before any major damage could be done. Once again, we revisit a mixture of what happened in real life and what we experience in Assassin's Creed Revelations. In our playthrough of that game, we tackled Manuel and Shakulu in an underground city well to the southeast of Constantinople. In reality, while Manuel wasn't a factor during this wild time in the Ottoman Empire, Shakulu absolutely was. This figure led a rebellion inspired by the relatively recent rise of the uh, Safavid Empire in Iran, and eventually during this uprising, Shakulu was killed and his followers were basically scattered. Doubt if there was any actual Byzantine influence in the real world rebellion, but either way, the rebellion was real and so was Shakulu. Thank you so much for watching, that's going to do it for us today. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content, and check back next time for another in our Heralds of the Assassin's Creed series series.